Hey guys, welcome to the Fireball Mullet channel. I'm Stan Kennedy, and in today's episode, we're gonna refresh that interior for on the cheap. We're gonna dye the interior panels, uh, and we're also, I also bought some interior carpet trim for those plastic panels that just made a world of difference. So is it worth it? Well, let's dig in and find out. All right, so kind of the first step, I got them all removed. Take some dish detergent and just give them a good scrubbing. And really, I've, I've had pretty good with plastic uh, cleaning grease and all that. And then I may take a little bit of rubbing alcohol as a final thing. But so that's kind of the first step. We just kind of go in and kind of took this detail brush that I use for my wheels. Just kind of work this in and try to get this nice and grease free. And then I'll probably take a scuff pad and go over all of the plastics as well just to give it a nice little scuff to adhese the glue as well as the uh, dye. So that's kind of the first step, guys. Next process, I just kind of take this kind of green pad and go over the whole thing. This kind of gives it a nice, a little bit more textured area so the paint and glue and all that stuff that I'm gonna do to it will stick better. And I think this actually will do a nicer job of getting the deep stuff out, deep grease and all that. Uh, the brush is good though, because you want to get all the like the little screw holes and all that. So that's kind of where we're at now, guys. Just go ahead and uh, keep cleaning. And I'm going to rinse all this off and we'll go to the next stage. guys got the uh, panels all cleaned up washed down looking pretty daggone clean at least grease clean anyway I may take a little rub rubbing alcohol as well we'll see but then from there I think the next step is going to be the plastic prep spray by SEM so we'll go ahead and uh, let this dry out real good for a couple hours and then we'll go ahead and go to the next step but yeah looking pretty right, good guys we're gonna go ahead and do the first couple panels that don't require carpet and i'm gonna go ahead and use a couple products here by sem the first is going to be the plastic adhesion promote plastic adhesion promoter so do a light coat let it flash a little bit do a heavy coat and then within 15 30 minutes go ahead and start the top coat which in my case i'm going for more of the beechwood look this is the closest to the beech look it's called camel it's not the gm camel this is actually pretty close to the beechwood i really love this color i've been using it on the rest of the interior so this is what we're going to use today All right, that's the first light coat and we'll come back over it in a few minutes with a little bit heavier coat and then we will be ready for, we'll be ready for the top coat. All right, we're gonna go ahead with uh, a thicker coat here and then we'll be ready for the top coat.
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for about 15 minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with the top coat, just super light coats. Everything's uh, dyed, got everything looking super nice, and I just kind of fitted. Now this carpet, if you kind of look at the directions, it's got a couple things here. Biggest thing, you want to make sure they're clean. They're obviously clean because I just resprayed, dyed them. And the next thing is, we, you will have to trim these a little bit, so they're not exact perfect. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. This is going to be a little long, and then you probably have to trim it. For your switch things like that this is the back panel I went ahead and marked the end because it's going to be a little longer here and then we'll go ahead and uh, trim this up so what I do is uh, just apply a little thin coat here and I'm just kind of, I think it dries pretty quick, so I'm just kind of working it a little section at a time. Just keep rolling it through, and I'll just go ahead and nice little brush touch there, and just keep rolling it on. So that's the technique we're using here. got this far a little bit over the hump and we just have a little bit more here and it looks like it's doing really well just from what I understand just keep it really thin and this stuff will work it's magic don't go on too thick and that's why you have to do little short sections at a time and get it all on and then just keep it pressed down and go as you go so let's go ahead and uh, the rest here
All right, guys, so it's looking like it's pretty nice. I got it all buttoned up here. Had to trim a little bit around the plastic screw mount, trim the end and the rest. Looks like it's holding super nice. This stuff sets up super fast, so do a little section at a time. <clears throat> and uh, I think this is working out pretty nice. So now I just got to do these for the rest of the panels. Wow, look at that. That is nice. This one is all done. So one thing to note, if you guys are doing this, and I saw some comments uh, and some research that I did, if you have some dye on this, that cement glue will actually interact with it and it'll actually lift that off. So I had a few overspray areas that I could see it was coming up a little bit. So hopefully we're okay. Uh, but for the most part, all the edges I taped off so there's no overspray there and uh, should be good. So, wow. Man, that looks really nice. Man, looks good. All right, here's the final results. Man, they turned out freaking amazing. What a difference it made on these plastic panels, which is one of the things that I hate most about the car. <laughs> I hate these plastic panels so much, just the way they fit, the way they go on. This just kind of makes it a little bit easier for me to, to <laughs> I guess to accept. So, man, what a great job. Now, I will tell you there's some trimming and you do have to do a little bit of interior sort of, you know, relieve some corners and things like that. Just watch some YouTube videos on that. But basically, for the most part, I only had to do uh, three or four minor altercations here. Everything else was pretty much set. So, man, what a freaking beautiful job. Look at that looks so much better. I can't wait to get these on the car. Wow. Look at that. Okay, and we even did the kicks, the back panel, the sides, and that's it, my friends. All right, guys, that's today's episode. You know the dealio. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely, I'm super happy so far with it. Uh, and I can't, I, I just, you know, the interior, I hate these plastic interiors, and it just made me not hate them as much. <laughs> so thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the flip side.